In the focus of the program within the process is detailed process of production from the idea to final result under the brand Made in Kazakhstan. The program shows us an amazing world of projects, technologies and industrial developments. For the commemoration of the Defender of the Fatherland Day, a military parade has been organized in the city, including officers marching in tight rows. Everything looks so ceremonial. You have to agree this just makes you want to chin up and follow the command, attention. But can you imagine how many sets of military uniforms had to be made for the entire army? This task is delegated to an entire garment factory, and that's exactly where we're going in order to see for ourselves and show you how military uniforms are made. Hello, you're watching The Process, a program in which we tell you in detail about how it works. Today our cameras are focused on the production process of military uniforms. There are three basic categories of uniforms for military personnel, ceremonial, ordinary duty and working dress. Of course, for official occasions, officers wear special ceremonial uniforms, and during the regular days, the ordinary duty ones. The uniforms differ in terms of color, depending on the type of forces in which the soldiers serve. The main components are the jacket and pants. The production process of military uniforms begins in the design department. Here, the model is chosen, the necessary size is determined, and marking off the pattern is done. Today, a specialized computer program is used for this. Thanks to this program, more precise measurements can be made, and the material can be cut in a more cost-efficient manner. The ready pattern is printed out and size measurements are checked once again. Only after this it is sent for cutting. Once the template is ready we move to the warehouse. Here the material for the future uniforms is prepared. Before everything else one needs to check the material for defects. Knots, plucks or for example it may be colored unevenly. That is why in the preparatory department they use a special machine which detects defects and at the same time the amount of material in the roll can be determined. This allows making a correct calculation before cutting. The first stage in the cutting shop involves the laying out of the fabric for the future military uniform. The thickness or number of layers of fabric depends on the number of uniforms that need to be cut out. A special machine unrolls the fabric, spreads it out and cuts out a piece of the necessary size. All the measurements are already preset in the computer. The operator of the machine only makes sure that the fabric is spread out evenly and without creases. When the right amount of fabric is prepared, the conveyor moves it to the cutting machine. The fabric is covered with a film, the template is put on top and a laser cuts it out. This technology ensures high precision of the cutting stage. Right after cutting, the smaller details of the uniform are treated with interfacing, a special material which makes them tougher. This is necessary to ensure that the fabric does not stretch out or lose its shape. Once all the pieces are ready, they are gathered together and sent to the sewing shop. It is now time to sew. Interesting. Putting together all the pieces is called montage. Once the numerous small details, flaps and pant pockets have been prepared, montage begins. Attachment of the pant legs to the belt line. It seems that everything is almost done, but that is not the case. Plenty of small operations lie ahead. In order for the pants to fit well, each seam is important. In order for the pant waistline not to crease, inside it is stitched out with a gross grain ribbon. With it, a tag with information about the product is sewn in. The seamstress who does this marks the necessary size and height on the standard tag. Once the waistline is attached to the pants, small details need to be finished off. The fly piece has to be attached, the hook and bar closure, and a loop made for the button. The pant making process is almost complete. The pants are sent to an area where a seamstress checks that the pant length matches the set size and bottom cuffs are sewn underneath. Since the fabric used for the pants is quite light, the bottoms can be made a little heavier in order for the pants to look better when worn. That is why a special ribbon is put into the lining of the folded seam. In order to create creases on the pants, they are steamed out. Thanks to this, the pants maintain their shape better. After this, the buttons are attached. Now the military uniform pants are ready.
The top part of the military uniform is sewn at the same time as the pants. From the cutting shop, all the parts of the future jacket are delivered to the sewing shop. They're also treated by interfacing. Thanks to this, the jacket will keep its shape and look great. When all the parts of the jacket are delivered to the sewing shop, they are allocated among different sites. The seamstresses will be preparing all the different parts simultaneously. During the sewing of the jacket, the edges of the fabric pieces are not tailored, since all the seams that are inside will be covered by the lining layer. Just as with the pants sewing process, first the small parts are prepared, flaps, pockets, and the collar. Large pieces of the jacket also pass through the preparatory stage. Groove cuts are made and they are ironed. On the front part of the jacket, a patch pocket will be attached. That is why, with the use of a cardboard pattern, the markings are made. Thus, the pocket will be attached in the right place. Also, during the preparation process, the sleeves of the jacket are sewn and steamed out. The sleeve of a military jacket bears a very important detail. It is precisely this detail that differentiates it from a regular jacket. Even before the other parts are sewn onto the jacket, chevrons are attached to the sleeve, patches with the title of the forces. For example, this uniform is for the armed forces of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Simultaneously with the preparation of the parts of the jacket, the lining is sewn. A special fabric is used for this, marceline or twill. It helps the outfit maintain its shape and does not wrinkle. In the meantime, in the other area of the shop, the prepared parts of the back and front are being sewn together. The lapels of the collar are also being attached to them. Then it is transferred for ironing. The seams need to be ironed out and lapels treated with steam so that the collar has the right bend. Sleeves are then stitched onto this vest. An important part of the jackets are shoulder pads. They're used in order to give a rigid shape to the military jacket so that it does not fall along the shoulders like a shirt or plain jacket. The montage is complete with the stitching in of the lining. First, it is attached along the inner edge of the jacket and then additionally fixated in places where the sleeves are attached to the shoulders. Now it is sent for the heat and moisture treatment. One by one, parts of the backside, front, shoulder and sleeves are steamed out. And finally, the last touch. The buttons are sewn on. The military uniform is ready. I even had the luck to try it out. It fits perfectly. Your mood changes just as you put it on. The desire arises to be all tough, composed and decisive. Now I understand why the uniform is very important in the army. Military uniforms are being produced at this factory all the time. Also, summer and winter clothing for the army is made here and it needs to be replaced regularly. Work of the military never takes a break and that is why the uniforms wear out quickly. Now I know for sure that Kazakhstani officers are comfortable in their military uniforms. You are watching The Process, a program in which we tell you in detail about how it works and thereby change your perspective on things that surround us in our daily lives. My name is Nazar Muhammad Jan. Until next time.